Hello, everyone, and welcome back to KJ Around the World. In today's quick video, I wanted to look at a few things that I have been talking about recently, which is women traveling. And one of the topics included the safest countries for women to travel. And in that particular short that I did, like it took off and I'm just like, hmm, it seems like people are interested in women traveling, um, whether certain countries are safe for women to travel. And I just wanted to come on and give a full list of those countries because the ones I included were countries that were on the list that I had already traveled to. And so I just want to break down all of the countries today so that I can share the full list of the safest countries for women to travel, especially for women to travel solo. Now, I know there are some people who probably think, well, you know, it's not safe for women to travel solo. There are certain cultural or, you know, whatever stereotypes that are behind this. But for me, I think it's really important for women to travel, whether it's a girl trip, solo, whatever it is. It's really important for women to travel solo because there's so many things that can come from this. There's so much discovery, so much, you know, self-reflection, the confidence that comes from this is so important. And I know for me, in my own experiences, it was a wonderful experience to travel solo. So I just wanted to share this with you guys today. If you are new here, this is a channel for women, Black women, women of color. It is a channel for women who are educators or want to become you know, an educator who are looking to teach online, teach abroad, but they also love travel, solo travel in particular. So if this sounds like you, make sure that you subscribe to the channel, first and foremost. Make sure you like the video so YouTube knows that you are interested in this channel and you'll definitely, you know, get notifications once you hit that notification button for when I upload again. Now to move right in, I'm going to start with Finland. Now, Finland is a Nordic country. It is one of my favorite countries to visit. I mean, I've been there three times and <laughs> it has always been a treat. Every time is a wonderful experience. And I just love going again and again and again. And so it is at the top of the list of countries that women travel solo and can feel safe because a... I can say for myself, like the country has very low crime rates. Um, no one is saying crime is non-existent, but the crime rate is very, very low and people are very welcoming. But on top of that, people leave you alone. So you can go about your business. Transportation is easily ac accessible. <laughs> and so it is definitely my favorite place to visit, especially as a woman and especially going solo. So that hits the top of the list, not just my list, but the list, okay? The next is Canada. And Canada, if you know, you've know you heard about Canada, a lot of people say Canada is a great place to visit. It's a safe place to visit. Again, very low crime rates. And this tops the list for the reason why it is a safe place for women as well. Now, the next one on the list is Iceland. And I promise you, I'm not just going in this order because these are places I've been to. <laughs> but the next place is Iceland. Iceland also happens to be another one of the safest places for women to travel to, especially solo. Again, low crime rate. They're, you know, the population's very, very chill, very laid back, very relaxed. Um, I definitely highly recommend you head to Iceland. Um, I know there's a lot of things going on there right now with the volcanoes, but when you do get a chance and it is safe to go, head to Iceland. It's a beautiful country, beautiful people, wonderful cuisine. It's easy to get around. You could rent a car. Um, what I also love is that even if you do rent a car, you can. there are places that you can go and camp out. There are places you can stay, you know, budget-friendly places like hostels. And that's where I stayed when I went. So definitely give Iceland a try. It tops my list, you know, along with Canada and Finland as places to travel for women. So check those three out. Moving on to the next one on the list is Japan. Now, 
we all know Japan is living in the future, right? Transportation wise, crime wise, they have such a low crime rate. Um, the people are awesome and amazing. And again, another country where people mind their business and go about their business and no one bothers you. It tops the list of places that I want to visit. I know that you know, on many, many indexes and many lists, they are like one of the safest countries to live and they top, you know, quality of life lists as well. So if you are looking for a place to visit, Japan is definitely one of the places you should try out. The next one is New Zealand. Now, I don't know about you, but besides the Lord of the Rings, I don't think many people give New Zealand the type of props that they should get. It is a wonderful country. I've heard nothing but good things from people who've actually gone. It is exceptionally beautiful. The culture of the people, the language of the people. It is one of those countries that keeps a very low profile. You don't hear much about them in the news, but when it comes to safety and their gun laws and the way that they protect women and protect people in that country, I say it has to definitely be at the top of the list for safest places for women to travel, especially as a solo traveler. I say, if you have a bucket list, add New Zealand to that list. Next is Switzerland. <sighs> I know, Switzerland. Switzerland is probably one of the most expensive countries in the world, but it does make the list for safest places for women to travel. And as someone who has been in this tra the travel sphere and who have followed many travel vloggers and content creators and seen many of them, especially women, go to Switzerland solo or with girlfriends, it is a treat. I mean, from the food to the amenities, the ski resorts, the spas, like, and they have cheese. Like, what else do you need? <laughs> what else do you need? So Switzerland definitely has to be up there as one of those places that tops the list for women to travel solo. It looks like a vibe from the countryside to the cities like Bern. Um, I'm definitely interested in going to, to Switzerland. So if you're interested, I would add that to my list as well. Now, we're going to move away from Europe for a bit and move into a South American country that many of you probably haven't heard of, but it is certainly you know one of those countries that should be topping your list and it is Uruguay now Uruguay made the list and I will definitely add the list to the description because Uruguay is one of those countries where again you don't hear much about them it's very low profile very quiet but very very safe for women to travel to and I suggest you do your research and look into not only Uruguay, but all the countries that I've said today, because I believe that it's a great way for you to get a wider perspective on the world, get a wider perspective on places that you could visit and places that would be appealing to you as a woman. So add Uruguay to your, to your list. We're going to make our way back to Europe now. I feel like we're touching all the continents at this point. Um, we're making our way back to Europe and we're adding Belgium and Austria to the list. Now, if you've heard of Brussels, I'm sure you're like, hey, okay, I know a little bit about Belgium, but I don't know if I should go solo. Give it a try, all right? It is definitely another place to add to the list for safety when it comes to women traveling solo. It is a country where you are going to get the safety features of other European countries. No one's going to bother you. No one's going to stress you out. No one's going to try to grab you in the street. It is just chill vibes. And it's important to know that as a woman, just because we hear things on the news or, you know, we hear, oh my gosh, this place is dangerous or we hear, oh my God, this place is safe, doesn't mean that we shouldn't try or give you know, opportunities to different countries. I think that on top of the list of places that I feature here as being the safest places to go for women, we should also try other countries as well. It is important to be cautious. It's important to be street smart. 
have all the th things that you need, you know, you want to be open to connecting with people and you, you want to be able to experience a country and a culture, right, without having to have, you know, roadblocks up all the time. But you also want to be street smart and be safe and make sure that you have all the things you need, whether it's a little handy, you know, some mace or <laughs> an alarm or something else that will make you feel safe. It's important to protect yourself. It's also important to make sure that you're mindful of your location. You will also want to make sure that you're mindful of your surroundings, make sure that friends and family know where you are when you go on your solo trip so that you are safe at all times, right? Anything could happen anywhere, but it's always important to take appropriate precautions. Now, Belgium and Austria, beautiful, beautiful places from architecture to food and everything else in between, they also top the list of safest places for women to travel solo. Last on the list, we're heading back to South America with a country called Chile. Now, I have wanted to visit Chile for a long time on top of Brazil and Argentina and all the other countries. I really would like to visit Chile. And now that I know it is on the list of safest places for women to travel solo, it has been added to the top and I cannot wait to explore this region. I can't ex wait to explore this country and see what it is all about from the food to the culture, to the way the people dress, to the music, the art and everything else in between, the indigenous culture. There's so much that many of these countries have to offer. And if we're afraid to travel because we think we won't be safe, we're going to miss out on some amazing travel experiences. And I'm here to tell you, there is nothing worse than regret. So please get out there, travel, see the world. It is open for you. There's so much to learn, so much to do, so many people to meet. I'm excited to share my experiences with you. And I hope that you guys, you know, if you have any travel experiences, solo travel experiences, you can share them in the comment section below. Until next time, I will see you. Bye, guys.